Hello everyone, welcome back to the ROS programming series. In the previous lecture of this series, I explained, how can we install ROS Noetic on our Linux operating system. Today, I will explain important terminologies of ROS. There are three important terms in ROS, master, node, and topic. In this lecture, I am going to explain all three with an example. The master acts as a name server for node-to-node -node connections and message communication. The command ROSCore is used to run the master. After running the master, you can register the name of each node and can access information when needed. We can't communicate between nodes without the master. The master communicates with nodes using XMLRPC, which is an HTTP-based protocol that does not maintain connectivity. In other words, the slave nodes can access only when they need to register their own information or request information from other nodes. The connection status of each other is not checked regularly. Due to this feature, ROS can be used in very large and complex environments. The XMLRPC is very lightweight and supports a variety of programming languages making it useful for ROS. The node is the smallest unit of the processor or executable program running in ROS. ROS recommends creating one single node for each purpose. For example, in the case of the mobile robot, the program to operate the robot is divided into different unique functions. Specialized nodes are created for each function such as sensor drive, obstacle recognition, encoder input, and so on. It is recommended to develop for easy reusability. Upon startup, a node registers information such as name, message type, URI address, and port number of the node. The registered node can act as a publisher, subscriber, service server, or service client based on the registered information. We will discuss all these terms in our upcoming lectures. The node uses XMLRPC for communicating with the master. And uses XMLRPC or TCP ROS of the TCP IP protocols when communicating between nodes. The topic is a common subject between different nodes. Two nodes can connect with each other if and only if they have the same topic. The publisher node first registers its topic with the master and then starts publishing messages on a topic. Subscriber nodes that want to receive the topic request information of the publisher node corresponding to the name of the topic registered in the master. Based on this information, the subscriber node directly connects to the publisher node to exchange messages as a topic. Now, let's explain everything with an example. Suppose that we have two nodes, a camera node, and an image viewer node. A camera node notifies the master that, it wants to publish images on the topic, images. After notifying, camera started publishing images to the topic, images, but nobody is subscribing to this topic yet. Now, the image viewer wants to subscribe to the topic, images, to see if there are any images there. The topic, images, has both publisher and a subscriber now. The master node notifies them about the existence of each other, so that, they can start transferring images to one another. That's all for today. If you have any questions related to the lecture, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If this video helps you then like, subscribe, share with others. See you in the next lecture.